Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube, man? This your boy, Junior Gang Entertainment, Junior Gang Productions, all that in one. How y'all doing today? I hope everybody's blessed, man. But look, man, we're gonna get straight into it. I ain't gonna do too much talking. But before we do anything, I need y'all to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Today, I'm finna teach y'all how to do the Red Giant Glow Effect. Yes, the Red Giant Glow Effect. So if you wanna learn about this today, you want to get your videos a little more spiced up and you can have some glow transitions today i'm gonna teach y'all something if you got any more questions you can go follow me on instagram at junior games production all together man and dm me or you know come in at the bottom and let me know what you think about this tutorial and i'll do more tutorials but other than that we're gonna get right into this so i'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the computer and y'all hopefully y'all love this we out of here Hey, what's going on YouTube, man? So listen, we is now on the official Adobe 2020 timeline, yes. So I know y'all been ready for this, this effect. So it's going to be plain and simple. I ain't going to do too much talking. If it's something that you didn't understand, make sure you comment at the bottom so I can make sure next time to be more specific. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're going to import this first media. Um, but... Before we do that if you want to always remember to make your timeline so you want to make your sequence you know what i'm saying so we ain't using 4k today so we're gonna go over to the presets we're gonna get the 24 frames hold on i'm gonna get that okay you can use anyone it really don't matter but me personally Go to 1080p, 24. Okay, we got that set up. Wow. Automatically, we're going to drop and drag just like that. We're going to keep it plain and simple. I don't have too many clips, so it's just one whole video. It's actually done, so I'm going to do a lot of clipping and cutting. So we got the timeline. We're going to drop this on the timeline, bomb. It's shot in 24 frames per second. We got the timeline. And, um, so the first clip, we're going to find a clip that we like. It's, uh, we're going to use that right there. So, bomb. Look, man, we're going to go over here to the right. We're going to hit export. And this is going to do is it's going to give you a screenshot of what's going on right here. Bomb. And it's going to pop right here to the left over here in the project box. And you just take that and you're going to drag that right there. Bomb. So when you move it, it should be still. So, bum, bum, bum. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to uh, spread it out a little more. So, it's a still image. Look. So, we got a still image right now. Bum. First thing we're going to do, go to effects. We're going to drop us a crop. I always want to drop you a crop, and I'll tell you a little about it. We're going to drop it onto the freeze hole that we got. We're going to click on this little, you know, click on the, the project. We're going to go right here down to the bottom where it says crops right here. You see it right there where it says crops? We're going to click the little masking tool right here, and it's going to bring up mask one. We're going to go over here to the to the picture, and we're going to do a quick mask. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I ain't going to rush too much, so I'm just going to, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. I'm not one of those guys that like to, you know, rush it. But I'm just going to like, you know, rush it a little bit, but not too much. Oh, hold on. You know what? Kill all that. We're gonna just do it like that. We'll be all right. I just want to let y'all know how to do it. It's real simple, so and I'll tell y'all a little about Red Giant and where you can get it from, also. So, the website, so you guys will know. So, once we got that mask all the way out, oh, let me go back one more time. Sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna take this pen tool, we're gonna link these two together right here, like this, and it's gonna create a whole mask. Then we're going to go back over to the effect panel, mask one. We're going to go down to the crop where it says crop. Go down and we're looking for left. First thing you want to do is put left. You want to drop that at 100%. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we even do that, okay, I'm sorry about that. We're going to move this back to this side so we can add the, we can add the hold on there. Then we're going to drop the 100% just like that on there. And then we're going to hit invert. Boom. Now, as you can see, it already created a mask. We're just going to gonna run that back real quick so y'all can see. And 
seen that right there, so bam. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open up the timeline so we can get a nice little cut it about the right here, just like that. The only reason why we're going to cut it like this so we can add a slide across it or whatever type of effect that you want to add to make it glow. So, like, that was just the masking part. So, look. Imagine if we let me open this up because it's actually it's a small clip. So, it's probably like right here. Okay. Okay. Now, nah, this is where the fun finna begin. So, we're going to go over here. We're going to go to effects. So, look, if you don't have Red Giant, I'm going to show you how to get it. And I can show you two options, but today we're strictly going to talk about Red Giant. So, first thing you will have to do is go buy Red Giant. And I'm going to show you guys right now. We're going to go right here, type in Red Giant. Okay, bomb. Once it come up, these are the subscriptions that they have. So, make sure you pay attention to this. They have a best value of Red Giant completely annual for $49 a month. Which is an annual, so it's really like five hundred and nine, like six hundred dollars. So just to just to skip all that, the only one you really want to get is the Universe Monthly, which is thirty dollars a month. And this thing comes with plugins, transitions, all types of stuff. So um, bum. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to effect. Once you um pay for it, it should be ecto. The ecto plugins, Red Giant Universe. We're going to take it, and we're going to drag it on the footage. And we're going to wait for the footage to, to glow. And I'm like, oh, you see it already. Now, bump, bump, bump. This is where the fun come in at. Now, y'all. Okay. They got all different types, too. So, we can go right here to choose presets. And um, they got all different types of presets. So, just check out all the ones. These are all the presets that they got. You know what I'm saying? And I got to actually, I got a couple. Let me see. That I already pre-made. Let me see. That the red one, okay. Yeah, see, I'm, I pre made some of these, but they got all different ones, man. You just go in there and find one that you like, and once you find it, you go into the settings. All right, I'm gonna show y'all my favorite one. This is my favorite one, this is my favorite one, and this is my favorite one. But right now, it's yeah, you just gotta play with the settings. But I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all all that. Just don't worry about it, just, just chill right now. We're just going through some, so we're gonna use this one for a quick example today. Bum. All right, bum. Now y'all see we got the glow. Now we're going to take the glow intensity. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to put it to what you need it to go to. So I'm, I'm going to just play with the glow intensity to like 160. Uh, you got to find, it's a setting on here that you got to, oh, you know what? Hold on one minute. We got to take the feather out too. So uh, let me see something. I was at 10. Drop the feather to zero. See, did you see that? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, reset it so you guys can see what I just did. Okay, bomb. So basically, you gotta go up under the mask tool, and you're gonna see something that says mask feather. It's at 10% right now, and you see how we have all those edges on the side right here, on the side right here. Okay, to get rid of that right there, all you're gonna do is hit that mask feather zero, and that's gonna get rid of all the side view. You know what I'm saying? It's plain and simple. So look. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna render him out. It's quick render in and out. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? This video is actually long. I should have never rendered. I should have just rendered just a clip. That was dumb. Hold on one minute. So I know what to do. Bring this one down all the way to here, so it won't be much render speed. Or I can just choose this particular area and just render it out one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> Could have did that the first time. Okay, bomb. Now, I'm going to show y'all that. So, like, this is keyframe. Like, okay, you click on that again. Bomb, bomb, bomb. All right, bomb. You see right here where it says position? On the side of position, these are your keyframes, the little small clocks. You're going to click that if you want to make your first keyframe. So, for example... <laughs> I'm going to place this position back, right? So when I set my keyframe right there, it's going to be set to right there in that position. You see the little keyframe right here? Y'all see it? That's a keyframe right there. Okay. Then we're going to take the stick. 
then we're gonna move it just a little bit or whatever you you know and then we're gonna hit the reset button and that's gonna give it a nice movement but i'm just showing y'all the basics i ain't really getting into details but if y'all really want to learn more about it just dm me and we can do a tutorial i can just show you but i'm just gonna show you a quick way to get this glow oh, let me change my resolution sorry about that too I choose to lose sometimes again. Sometimes again. To take it right, you can undo that. For example, I'm gonna put a. Uh, I got an effect. I'm gonna see where it's at. I got so many effects. Let me see. Um, we got this one effect that you can put on there, and actually, um, you can add anything. Just put it like that. Uh, we'll plug in. Give me a minute because I got so many plugins. Okay, check this out. Y'all check this out. Check this out. We're gonna render this out. Y'all check this out. And if y'all want this effect that I'm finna show y'all, y'all can DM me or follow me and subscribe to the channel and comment. And I read my comments and I'll get back with y'all and show y'all. So we're gonna render this section out right here. <sighs> Yeah, man. But it's real easy, man. Once you get the hang of it and stuff. Y'all seen that? Check this out. I choose to lose. Sometimes again. Everything. Hold on. Sometimes again. Sometimes again. Sometimes. Sometimes again. Sometimes. Like the right here. Sometimes again. Sometimes again. See, it's all about times again. Everything comes with times again. I should have, I should have, um, hold on one minute. Times again. Bump, 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 just like that. We're going to take a keyframe and we're going to slide him just like that right there. Just playing around with it, man. Sometimes again. Everything. Then you can take it. Times again. Then you can put another scale on here, and you can make it go big. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, then you can move this. You know what I'm saying? And then make it come back out. Then you can take this, and you can make it back come back to right there. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's all just them keyframes. Times again. Everything comes with some pain. But if you wanted to just add something basic, you can just change the position, just reset these right here. It's simple. It's not hard. You won't lose anything. I choose to lose. I had a better feeling. Sometimes again. But I wasn't trying to get into depth about everything. So, yeah. But um, we're going to reset everything. And I'm sure. Sometimes again. Everything. Back to life. I choose to lose. Sometimes again. Life. I choose to lose. Sometimes again. Like, I choose. What you want to do, man? Like right now, look, bomb. I'll take a keyframe, right? Position it right there. And then what I do is I slide it. You know what I'm saying? I slide it. Let me see. Let me just see what I did, y'all. Nah, I'll take that back. Hold on. Like, I choose to lose. Alright, I'm going to Like, I choose to lose. Gotta be creative. Like, it's all about being creative and you know trying to make the shit work. So um we got that keyframe right there. So I'm gonna take that off. I got that keyframe right there. Um that's one. Then I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna a keyframe and I watch. Like I choose to lose. Sometimes like, you wanted him to like I choose to lose. You know what I'm saying? You can make them come back, like, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm smart, like. Like, I choose to lose. Sometimes again. You know, you gotta be smart. Like, I choose to lose. Sometimes. I'm all on doing the little whole glow. Like, the quick tutorial just to show you guys. But I can show you guys a little more because I know a lot of stuff, but. You know, today was one of my first actually time just wanted to show you guys how to do the Ecto plugin and show you where you got to go to download it. So, if you got a power computer and you can afford 
to pay $30 a month. This plugin is well worth it. It also, it comes with um, transitions. Like, hold on, let me show you guys. Oh, tired. Okay, so we got all these right here, like these. Let me see. Uh, okay, right here. These is all the transitions on the uh, right hand side. These are all from Red Giant. Like, they got a ton of transitions that you can go and go get. You know what I'm saying? And we got effects. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. Hold on. Put it up on my tab. Oh. Go right here to open the dashboard. So this with everything that come with the Red Giant. All this right here you see. This stuff is hot, blurs, chromatic, heart wave, RGB, um, glows. It comes with a lot of stuff. So, you know, all types of stuff, motion graphics. If you not, if you guys are to motion to graphics, you know what I'm saying? Ecto, glitch. It got a tons of overlights, overlays, text, um, transitions. Just go, you know, and check it out, man. On a scale of 100 per 10, I really will get this 100 percent. I really love it. I always use Red Giant, so like, make sure y'all check all my, my my music videos out that I got. You know what I'm saying? That's out on my channel, and um, I get back with you guys on the next time. Appreciate all the love and the support. Make sure y'all follow, comment, and subscribe, and we'll try to get better and better with these tutorials, man. Let me know what I can help y'all with next, man. Should I do a whole music video setup? And show you guys how to do a music video from scratch. I don't know. Y'all come and let me know. But we out of here.